Yeah, the three just right. Yeah, the sixth one now. This one, the sixth one. All the three got a first. This one, I got now the, the, the second one. Let's go. 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 Let's Greetings, wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our news digest this day, Wednesday, the 28th day of September 2022. And we must say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. This is coming from the desk of Nicky Bobby. We are here bringing you reliable news across Biafra land as well as beyond. There has been some letters and the new concern as we wake up today, seeing things going around. Uh, the video, the clip you just watched from the beginning, is the Zoological Republic flying across the entire Biafra land with their jets. It really looks like they are preparing again to repeat what happened in 1967 to 1970. And of course, this can show you that they are really, really preparing. They released about night jets flying across Biafra land. Uh, you saw it. And um, when the United States of America was busy selling jets to the Zoological Republic, they said that they sold the jets to Nigeria with um, a condition that they will not take it to Biafra land. During my analysis, informant Nikki Bobby has said that those are just made talk, that there is no way such conditions, such attachment could be given. We then know when it is being taken to Biafra land. And I maintain and insisted that this jet, this Tukana you saw that the U.S. sent to the Zoological Republic is really meant for Biafra. But some people doubted us that in as much as the zoo, uh, U.S. gave the zoo the order not to take it to the Biafra territory, that the zoo will not try it. Do you believe that? Is it possible that you, I will buy a car from you? Then you, the manufacturer of the car, give me condition that this is the only region by which, I, the only territory by which I will drive that car. Uh, these are the things that some people do not understand from the onset. U.S. is in this game together. Whether you agree or not, we are telling you the truth. Because this is the exact thing that happened in 1967. And besides, don't you know that Obama is in support of what is happening in the zoo today? Yes, he was the, the one that campaigned we were into office. And of course, after Trump, another person took over who is in support of the zoo as well. So you can't just tell me that they sold jets to the Zoological Republic and they gave them order that they shouldn't bring it to Biafra land. Was it written? Did anybody see it? We are just hearing that the U.S. Uh, their congressmen said that they must not take the jet to Biafra land. Who are you deceiving? In 1967, U.S. was involved in what's happening in Biafra land. Many of the European countries were involved. But earlier, what we are hearing was that U.S. decided to remain neutral, that they didn't want to get involved. That has been the narrative that's been reported by those one from the Europe as well as America, that America, United States decided to remain neutral, that they didn't want to contribute. But now you have seen it based on the last interview that Bill Clinton handled that yes, U.S. was involved fully. Even prior to that time, um, George Campbell that used to handle his um, law courts, his court cases on Facebook, have a quality one way one day consulted a particular military man in the United States. And he came to his chamber. He was narrating what really happened because he fell a traffic law he told him that he's a soldier, that he was serving his self-sustain so place where he said in Nigeria and some other part of Africa. He said, what was happening in Nigeria? Did you go to represent other countries? He said, no, that he went to represent U.S. What happened there? He said it was between Nigeria and Biafra. The George Campbell was like, ah, I've not had a barrier. He said, yes, it was a critical time. It was, it was terrible. Just that the world decided not to carry it. It was happening pari when the war of Vietnam, I think so, was going on, thereabouts. So, U.S. was totally involved. 
Bill Clinton said it. But at a point when they saw that it was a terrible situation, that they decided to pull out. So many European countries got involved. Germany, Germany was there. USSR was there. Of course, Britain was the one that went to call them. Then you come to Africa. You see so many African countries that surround the zoo. All of them were involved. You have heard the statements of the president of the Nigeria Republic. After the Zoological Republic, the so-called Masquerade Buari bought them security cars that worth billions. When people were murmuring, why would Nigeria go to buy cars, security cars for the Nigeria Republic? Why the situation of security situation in Nigeria is zero, it's in Shampoo. The president of Nigeria Republic said, yes, that they deserve it. That they themselves, Nigeria Republic, sent their own soldier during 1967 to help Nigeria. So that, that is the why today Nigeria has access to Biafran resources. Why won't they themselves, Nigeria Republic, receive part of it? That yes, Nigeria should be, Nigerians, according to the man, should be happy that they themselves, Nigeria Republic, came out and helped Nigeria then. Not only that, as time progresses, we have begun to find out that so many African countries got involved in support of Nigeria. So a country like Ghana, some of them were involved. They even send their own. Benin Republic, a lot of them. But you know, sometimes when they come in, you might not know them because a lot of them speak Salsa. You think that it is Salsa instruction from the Zoological Republic. But these are across the border of African countries. So a lot of things happen to Biafra. And so many people across the globe know about Biafra. The fact is that they, 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 just, they just don't want to say anything about it. And today, the zoo is preparing again. They are actually preparing. And this time around, they are coming with the ideology that they want to secure the territory for campaign. Which territory are you securing? This is what is happening. You've not gone to Northwest, to Medjugorje. All these things are happening to secure your territory. All of you, you are coming down to Biafra land, say you are securing their territory. We are passing this information to our people, so for them to know how things are. Now go to Africa, and of course, not only to our people, across the globe, the global community, so that you will know. And when we are saying it, and this is the way it is, our voices is going across the globe. So if it gets to you, know that this is a situation that is going on in the Zoological Republic. And of course, and I have um, a situation here that I still want to analyze to our people as regard to the food crisis in the northwestern parts of the Zoological Republic. They say it is alarming, according to an NGO. But the zoo, the northerners, always boast that they are the one feeding the south. The truth always come out. Even the population in the north is not half of the population in the south. Have you seen anywhere in the northern part where it's desert? That the population is higher than the southern part. Where there is river, where there is mild temperature, temperature. Where there is opportunity for farming and industrialization. Has it ever happened? These are the game that Britain played. Always telling you that the northern part has greater population. There is nothing like greater population. They are scanty in the north. If you happen to go to north, personally, I have been to north and some part like in Jigawa State, and I have found out how they settle there. They are in scanty. Places in some settlements, you can drive for two hours. You've never seen a settlement. I tell you, I'm telling you the truth. And it is a desert. Few people are living there. How then can you say that the population of the north is greater than the one in the south? It's not possible. These are all political propaganda. A non-governmental organization, Medicine Sans Frontiers, otherwise known as Doctor Without Borders, has alerted the humanitarian community on the malnutrition crisis in the northwest Nigeria saying it is already at catastrophic levels. The organization called for the region to be included in the United Nations humanitarian response plan to enable a border and a more sustained response to the crisis. It lamented that since the beginning of 2022, its programs in five states across the Northwest had witnessed an extraordinary number of children with malnutrition, blaming multiple factors for the sharp increase. Of course, this is the situation. The, this organization now is calling for the United Nations to include the five um, states from the northwest or from the north in their program to add them for food 
provision. But every now and then they continue shouting that they are the one feeding the south. If you are the one actually feeding the south, how come your children are malnourished? How come you cannot provide food for your children? It's just a man who has a family. Every time he claims that he is feeding another family, that he is feeding, he is the one taking care of other families. His own family is languishing in hunger. Does it happen? And yesterday we brought you an information that some parts of the Middle Belt, as well as in some other parts of the North, that a flood has been ravaging that place. And the latest flood that took place really destroyed a lot of farms. And the Nigerian government says that they have nothing to offer, that there is nothing they can do. If you don't really know what is going on, you might think that these farms, those right farms and other um, grain farms could maybe belong to the Northerners. Statistics and information available to us shows that the biggest farms you are seeing in the Middle Belt and some parts of the North belongs to Igbos. For example, if you go to Niger State, if you go to um, Plateau State, if you go to Nasrawa Kogi State, as well as Benue State, some part of um, Taraba State and Bauchi, the farmers there, the big farms you are seeing there are owned by Igbos. This is what the statistics is showing and this is the truth. And no wonder the Zoological Republic government says there is nothing they can do if you lose your farm to flood. Know that it's a natural disaster, there is nothing they can do because a lot of those farms you are seeing there belongs to Igbos. In Nigeria, Igbos are the highest producer of rice. It doesn't matter from any region it's coming. Of course, Abakaleke rice, I mean, every state produces the largest rice in the Zoological Republic. Then if you go across other states, like Niger State, maybe Bauchi State, other big, big rice farms and other farms you are seeing there belongs to Igbos. Yes, they are living in those areas, but they belong to Igbos. Now, this can I define to you the reason why the federal government says that they cannot help, that there is nothing they can do. But every now and then, they continue supplying the Fulanese a lot of money in quantum, in billions. From month to month, before you know it, they say uh, they have given Fulanese such amount of money. They have given Yetiala such amount of money to support them. This is what is going on in the Zoological Republic. And I am using this opportunity to let people know those who decide to play away, who decide to sit on the fence, those who decide to support the Zoological Republic politics. The fact is that no matter how you try to support the politics in the Zoological Republic, it can never favor your, your, your people. Yes, it might favor you as an individual, but which man that would like to be rich and his people to be poor? It's only Nigerian politicians that I have seen that. What we are looking at is a general inclusiveness where our people in Biafra land, where everyone we stand firm. We live like others. We have access to medical care. We have access to standard education. Where there will be a good rate network. Where there will be a clean water, pipe bone water. Where people can live as free people. You can go to hospital. You'll be treated freely without you spending a lot of money. If you have an ailment that is disturbing you, at your age of 50, 60, you can confidently go to hospital and the government will administer a drugs for you without paying. That is how you see people who are living longer today in Western countries. They don't have much thing to stress their head. These are the things we are saying. And that's why we say we embrace Biafra. We know Biafra is what we bring us what we want. Those who are campaigning for the Zoological Republic, the end result will be that nothing is going to change. I have been saying it and I will continue saying it, irrespective of the magic that P2B might do if we eventually succeed to become the president. What happens after eight years? Like I said earlier, as we continue progressing, you will begin to see a lot of European countries that got involved in 1967 in Biafra as well as other African countries. So you get to understand what Biafra has to pass through. And we must continue doing our best. We thank you for listening. We say that it is in Biafra land that all of us have our citizenship and until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain blessed wherever you may be.